Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to clean your injectors in the 7500 Rev4 valve. Your injectors are located here behind this little plate. The first thing that you do is remove the two screws. Okay, this right here is the injector. These are different colors. If you have softeners, they're different colors for the air valve. They're green. The first thing you do is remove this. And what you're going to do is you see the hole here through the injector. So what you're going to want to do is soak that in uh, some vinegar, warm water vinegar. Loosen that up. The next thing you're going to do is remove the throat. It's a smaller piece that's in here. So here's the throat. Again, what you're going to want to do is make sure that path is all cleared out. You can look down inside the valve, make sure there's nothing in there. And then just soak these guys in vinegar, rinse them off, and then reinstall them. Be very careful when you're installing the throat. Uh, you can break the head off here, so use use uh, don't don't get on it real heavy heavy handed. Um, what I do here in the shop is I just use my fingers here on the end of the screwdriver just like this. Just snug it up. Reinstall the injector. Again, this is a large screw, this is a large screwdriver. Just snug it up. Okay, go ahead and inspect the O-ring on your cover here. Make sure everything looks good and it has uh, it still has sufficient lube on it. This guy just pops in like that. Snug that up like that. This is an air injection valve, so there is no flow control in here. If it's a softener, you would have a flow control in here with a check valve. The other thing that you'll want to check Inside here, if you have a softener, you'll have this little screen. You'll also want to clean that out. Uh, if it's a green sand valve with pop perm or a softener, that can clog as well. So you want to clean that little screen out. That's in your brine line here. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks.